Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new piercing TikTok fail reaction video. Hello everyone. What is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang Sushi on the Scalding Hot Sum? What is the tea? Hot tea, how classy. But yes, hi everyone, hello and welcome back to the channel. Now today we are back for our first TikTok piercing fails of the year. Now as you, as you know, the saying's like, the year's gonna go as you start it. So... Let's see if the first TikTok piercing fails is gonna be absolutely insane. And we're gonna wonder, is this how the year's gonna go? Probably. Thank you for everyone who does send me things to react to over on TikTok. Come follow me over on TikTok. It's Rolly West YT over there. Come follow me. Come send me things, tag me in things to react to. And maybe your video can be in the next TikTok piercing fails. But anyway, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Let's not beat around the bush and get on with these TikTok piercing fails. <sighs> okay, so what's it? I just casually piercing my nose at home because I've done this before, okay. So they're using it, again, they're using one of these little cartridges to pierce their nose. Oh God, okay. Oh, it's red. So now she- Oh, God. She's starting to bleed. She's bleeding, girls. Okay. So what's, what's happening then? Oh, no. Wait, what? <gasps> what a disaster. And that was how she died. No, I hope she was okay, but Jesus Christ, she pierced her nose and was like, uh. So she like, yes, yeah, so she like fully just like pierced her nose and then like was like, oh, dear. What's happening, girls? We're all in shock. People get- I mean, people get dizzy, I guess, at the sight of blood and she's just like, oh, no. That is most awkward. Again, this is one of those things that you run the risk of doing when you're doing piercing yourself. Like, if you pass out and there's no one with you, you're just doing it at home. Who's there to, like, make sure that you're okay? Once you've bashed your head, you fall over. Like, at least being in a piercing studio. If you do happen to faint, there are people there around you. If you're just sitting in a room like that, the bathroom, like... Now what? You mark my words, you'll die. I'm not sure what I did differently. I must use my different powder because my face is so pale. <laughs> the ghost of Christmas past, girl. <laughs> Less Christmas. Okay, so pierce my spider eyes with me. Spider eyes? Spider eyes? Have you ever heard of spider eyes? Spider eyes? There are too many names for these things out. Spider eyes. Spider eyes? You ever heard of that? Spider eyes, spider eyes. I don't know what I am, but I'm a spider's eyes. So it's on their lip. So, oh God, they've already got things. They've already got two lip piercings. You're gonna put in a, are you gonna ups, upsize those other two bars? Oh God, this is just like pouring just like alcohol like over their fingers. Oh, this is awful. What are you doing? This is not, and uh, only one glove, only one glove on one hand. Cause that's how you do it, girls. God. Oh, she went behind it. She, I thought she was going to go in front of it. Oh, she's gone behind it instead. Oh, God. So she's taking the glove off. She's like, nah, I can't bother now. The glove was... St no. Jesus. That surface piercing on her, on her like, upper chest as well does not look good. Like, that looks like it's, like, angry. Spider eyes. Have you ever heard that before? I've never heard in my life. Spider eyes. Stop talking crazy talk. There's so many names now for all of these different piercings. Like, it's... It's so difficult to like remember every single one, but spider eyes. I've never in my life heard of spider eyes. Oh, by the way, guys, I had some more touch up work done on this arm. So um, if I'm, my arm can't, can't really move this arm as well as normally. So if I look a bit strange or you see like, it's a bit gooey as well. It's only a couple days old. So it's still like being on the gooey oozy session. So if it looks a bit gross, I apologize. I can't help it. That's the healing process, girls. Who cares? I got an eyebrow piercing a couple of days okay. ago and it fell out. And so I put it back in. And it was a little dandy and fine. Oh, God. But then this morning, after I took it out last night, because it was hurting oh, so no. bad. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, your poor eye. <laughs> God. What the fuck is happening right now? This person had an eyebrow piercing. It fell out. And obviously, it was. He said it was a few days ago. So the piercing obviously is very fresh. It's very still. You know, the first couple of days, it's pussy. It's oozy. It looks gross. It's swollen. And so when the jewelry fell out, I'm assuming it probably just like fell onto the floor or something. And like, did they clean it properly? Did they like... You don't know. We have no idea. But the fact that it did this shows to me that probably they might have just picked it off the floor and then put it in the in the back in. I'm not sure. But Jesus Christ, yeah, that looks horrible. Oh, you poor thing. Go to the doctors. Maybe get some antibiotics. Eh? No, I'm not a doctor. It falls out and you push it back in. Oh no. If you've got a brand new piercing, it does happen to fall out. I'm not sure what to like. 
if unless you've got like a sterilizer, like one of those sterilizing machines, like I wouldn't just say put it back in your eyebrow, even if you want to like try to clean it yourself. Well, I guess that's it. I have to get it re-pierced or something because, you know, things like this could happen. It's, and, oh God. For it to happen like this, it makes me think that probably they just kind of picked it back up and just kind of wiped it down or something and then put it back in. I don't know. Oh, what? Who the F to noob hit? No. Why is it? Why are we suddenly seeing a resurgence to finger piercings? In the last video I uploaded, there was those finger piercings and now we're seeing more? Why? Like... Why, why is there suddenly this happening? We always go through trends. Like there's always trends, right? Let me just pause this. There's always trends. There's always trends that go around and whatever. There are some trends that are like, what are you doing? Drug user, drug <laughs> user. For some weird reason, we're suddenly seeing a resurgence to finger piercings. They came for a while and then they disappeared because obviously it's so stupid. Has it just been that long? Now that new generations of people are growing up and they're like, this will be a good idea. No sis, it ain't Christmas. You can cross me off for your knuckle list. Like just bend your finger like that. You're gonna have to, and the skin is already really thin you're just gonna put bars underneath that so just like rubbing against all your like tendons and like your finger bone oh no look at the bone oh no oh. but already you can see how angry this one looks i don't know how old this person's had them but look they already look really angry i don't know if they're new or whatever but they look angry your fingers if you want a knuckle duster just wear a knuckle duster don't pierce it underneath your skin because that ain't going to give you the results you're thinking it is okay i'm piercing my ears y'all to pierce them than anything. Oh God, with an it's old style gun as well. It's about that time. I pierced all my ear piercings. Almost, almost. I stay away from the cartilage. Basically, my professional is what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't try this at home. I got this kit from Amazon. Get my hair out of the way. All right. Do I put gloves on? I don't know you're a professional. This kind of gives me a little bit like, hello, fellow kids vibes. I don't want them on. Oh, okay, what? so I think I'm going to do two on this side. God, these guys. And now we crank that soldier boy. Hold on, hold on. I was getting too excited. Let me clean and break the skin. And I'm just gonna eyeball it because that's what eyeballers do. Oh, it's just a bit cringe, isn't it? That's quite enough of that, thank you. Stop. Let me fix my oh, my piercing thing and a jewelry queen. And your other earrings are ripping through your ear. Oh like, god! I love piercings and I love jewelry. <laughs> Kids. Your other piercings are like ripping through your ear. I'm thinking one more, but then again, I'm like, while we're already here, let's just send it all the oh way God, up. Oh, God. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> You're too old. You're too old to be doing things like this. You should know better. Like, again, this is what I expect teenagers to do. You this shouldn't be doing like, come on, sis. She made up already. Big drip. Up and love with a little bit. Hey, hey. Your ear is so red. But those earrings are like ripping through, like you're ripping through your ear. It's hard to pause at the right time. Oh, there we go. Like these are like ripping through your ear as well. Like you're, you're, you've, you haven't gone much longer with this one. This one's almost at the edge. You've not gone much longer. You don't have much time left. <laughs> what I find interesting about when it comes to earlobes ripping through and stuff is like, how do you look at your ear and you, because like there's no way that you should be able to look at this and not realize what's happening. I don't understand how you look at that and go, this is fine. I find it weird how people are just so unaware. I just find like, to be using all these guns up rears and being like, I'm gonna be like, it just feels, I'm always one of those people that like, you're never too old to express yourself. Obviously, you are never too old to express yourself. If you want ear piercings in your 50, go and do it. If you want tattoos in your 60, go and do it. If you wanna wear a certain kind of clothing or hairstyles and you're, you know, you're, you know, at an older age, that's absolutely fine. But doing things like this, but also being old, I, I find that very like, come like you should know better it's 2024 now like there is enough information out there about piercing guns to know that they're not good okay so what oh. a screaming come child mum's piercing my nose mum's piercing my nose for me um, god what's happening what who's have they just got a kid filming them a lovely biro pet oh family family oh it's a family meeting there's no place like <laughs> so she just wait 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 so wait wait so they just I don't know if you heard what just said then so it's because my nose is wet from that same that's why and then she wipes her nose. So they've obviously used an alcohol wipe or something to clean the nose. And now the pen, went, the Byra pen won't dot in it. So she's like, oh no, the ink won't work. And then she just like fully just rubs her nose with her hands, even though she's just like sitting on the floor with her hands on her lap. And I'm like, do you realize how germs work? Healthy <laughs> beasts. Oh, she's scared. Oh, she's very scared. Oh, oh don't do it, mom. I'm scared. It shouldn't hurt as much because you just, God. oh, mom. You should not be, like, if this is how you're reacting as well, like, you should not be getting it, let's be honest. I've got to build the bollocks up for it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. Setting though. a good example for the children we see. Genuinely. Come on. 
a needle going from my nose. It's not a needle. I it's line a blunt it up. object. No, because you're just going to do no, it. No, I won't. I want to line it up. Tell me when you're going to do it then. Because you've got to line it up. I can't just do it. Otherwise, it's going to go in the wrong place. So come oh. forward. Well, for heaven's sake, get on with it. Now, let me line it up. Come I'm on. really scared. Okay, bored now. Come, come on. Get on with it. No. Come on. Why? Because if you don't press it hard enough, you're going to get it stuck halfway through your nose. Now, come here. See, mum knows best. Ready? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, it wasn't even that bad. Oh, oh my God. Oh, okay, so what, let me look. What is it? Wait, oh, wait, wait, what? Okay. After all that, you're not even going to show us what the outcome was. <laughs> not even gonna, are you joking? After all. Load of bollocks, wouldn't it? I love that after all that time waiting for it to be done, that she doesn't even show what it looks like at the end. Like, what's the point? What's the point? I wanted to see it. Oh, silly. But seriously, though, do people genuinely, like, because she said then in that video, she was like, oh, it's like a needle going through my body. Like, I don't understand why people think that these pieces of jewelry are needles. I really don't understand like where this has come from because it's you're just shoving a blunt object through your ear. Where's the needle? Where where's the needle going? Like if there was a needle there, where has it gone? Where's it come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go from? Piss and needle. Oh, oh really? shut when up. you think of oh, God. God. Like where's it going? Where's it come? Where, where's it gone? It's it's not there. It's nowhere. It feels like you're just a little bit old to be doing things like this. Like you should know better by now. You look old enough to know better. You look old enough to know better, honestly. Friend never takes her heavy hoops out, so her ears got very stretched and just wait, oh, wait for, for it. Mr. Blobby's yeah. coming out. Yeah. Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. Unwell. Ooh. God, what's ha Ugh. The entire thing was like, oh, what? So she's worn really heavy hoops do. this what whole the time. <laughs> her ears stretched that the entire back of the butterfly clip has just come straight through of her ear. Oh, God. So look, you can see it slightly coming out here. As the video goes on, it slowly comes out. And it's literally the entire back of that. Like, well, I guess this is not called a butterfly clip. What, what, I actually don't know what the name of this kind of backing is, but it's essentially the same piercing gun kind of style backing. But the entire thing just like pops through the ear. It looks like one of those little like Nespresso pods. <laughs> Coffee, anyone? Straight from the earlobe. Ooh. Fine, fresh, and gooey. No, 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 no. You wouldn't like that. As I always say, if you want to wear big jewellery, make it, make it, make it with clip-ons or something. If you want to wear huge, huge jangling earrings, use clip-ons. I know it's not as like, it feels a little bit old womanish or something, but like, use clip-ons. Or else you're just going to stretch your ear, rip through it, and you're going to have a slit. And trust me, trust me, trust me when I say this. When people say, oh, it's going to look when you're old, all that stuff, I know like disgusting. But trust me, when you're older, you're going to have this like huge slit through your ear because you didn't like look after it properly and you wore too heavy earrings. And you're going to be like, it looks weird. Now I can't wear earrings anymore. And you have to have it like surgically sewn up. No, I don't want it. Okay, so what is, oh God, is that, it's a belly button piercing. Jesus, look at the skin. Again, they're talking a different language. so I don't know what they're saying. So we're going to take the sound out, but oh gosh. What does that say? What does that say? Let's do it, Lee. Do a leaper. God, and I think it's gonna be a rotten piercing inside my belly button. I'm gonna die. Uh, wow. I don't know what's happening. Someone translate, please. What does that say? Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that belly button piercing, but it did not look healthy, girls. No, no, absolutely not. The skin is like, oh, help me. I've not seen a drop of water in eight years. Okay, so what's the first semester of college? 10 new piercings, five tattoos. Oh, gosh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and the piercing. Do you know, when I saw the tattoos being done right, I thought maybe the rest of them was going to get done right. The piercings. Oh, God, you're like sh just sh fully just shattering your cartilage. I was excited at first, and now I'm like, oh, my expectation is just plummeted. I mean, I quite like the zip at the top of the ear, even though <laughs> I shouldn't say that because it's like, no, I'd say piercing guns. Jesus Christ. I mean, you got the, you got the belly button done professionally, at least. I'm glad you've got one, but the guns in the ears, like, Jesus. And this, again, this is an old style gun as well. That's like the one that thumps you, like, beat! She's dead, beaten, beaten with the piercing gun. No, no, shattering your cartilage, shattering your cartilage. I'm very disappointed and terrified. Bang, bang, you shot my ear. Bang, bang, you split my ear. Bang, bang, that awful sound. Bang, bang, my ear is falling off. Oh, what's that? So what, uh, wait, what's that? This person's got a... Uh, Oh, oh my God. <gasps> Look at the build up on that. Fudge. 
Again, they're talking a different language. I don't know what they're saying. Oh my god. So they're taking so um oh the video's just kind of like jumped around a bit. So they're taking this one off now. So it's like I guess this is maybe that was like the first bit just to be like, look at what I'm doing, and now it's actually what's going on. Um Jesus Christ, yes, they've taken they've taken they've taken the, the, the screw off. And there's a huge buildup. So this person, like, I'm assuming just didn't take their piercing out and just didn't clean it or something, because you know that's a good thing to do. Um God, but there's so much like dead skin buildup. Oh, you know, you know as well. You know what I'm gonna say? You know what I'm gonna say? The smell. The smell of that. The smell of it. Oh, you just know that it absolutely smells. Uh, oh, it's like fully solid as well. Oh, uh, oh God. Ear cheese, ear cheese, ear cheese, ear cheese. I'm begging don't come near me, you dirty bitch. <laughs> you dirty bitch. Ear cheese, ear cheese, ear cheese, ear cheese. I should probably not drag the poor, wonderful Dolly Patwashliers into this. No, I can't watch anymore. It's kind of making me feel a bit sick now thinking of ear cheese. Oh God, no, disgusting. Don't come near me, girls, with that stinky ear. Okay, so what is this? So eyebrow piercing. Okay, wait, oh, where, where are they? I'm just sitting on the side of the straight next I'm to a bush. I'm done being nice. I'm done playing around. Why? For some reason, this is a good thing to do. <laughs> Yo, dinkity dink ass up. Shut your, shut your cow got that. <laughs> Where's Kyle? <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Is she trying to? Like, she's actually trying to like recreate Homer Simpson going through the bush. I God. I mean, at least Yo, the person's wearing up. gloves. I guess. There's like an earthquake. <laughs> we always try to look at the positives. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it hurts, go! Like that, like that. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Like that. This is where the magic happens. Oh, now the other side. God. I mean, they're using needles yeah. as well. You know, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to think of the positives. Stay positive. Oh, oh, now she's, God, she's bleeding a lot. That is a lot of blood for just an earlobe, like an upper lobe piercing. That's a lot of blood. You're gonna die now. Oh, God. So I can't, I, I'm afraid I cannot show you this bit. There's like blood. How are you? You okay? So clearly something's been done wrong here. Like you, obviously people bleed with piercings. Like some people bleed is fine. Like it's normal. But the amount of blood coming out of her ear, like that's that you've that's not good. Like that's an obscene amount of blood. Like something's happened there. Where was the eyebrow piercing? Didn't it say eyebrow? Wait, am I read? Was I reading it wrong? Eyebrow piercing. But they just pierced two low piercings. Well, she's lying. So you lied. You lied to me. Lying in the car park. You didn't pierce your eyebrow, no. Don't lie to me e anymore. Oh, Sophie Ellis Baxter back in the shirts, makes him so happy. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Wait, what's happening? Wait, where are they getting pierced? Wait, oh, it's a so they're getting a lower collarbone surface piercing. Okay, so they're just like in the street as you do in a shopping mall. God, okay, so the needle's gone through. Da da. I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna mute the sound because there's music in the background. So I don't wanna get striked by it. Ba 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 da ba da ba da ba ba ba. Uh, it looks very thick. Like it doesn't look like you've gone very deep. And they're putting a curved barbell. They're putting a curved barbell and a surface piercing. Why? This needs a surface bar. Like it's like a staple bar. Like that that will last in their body for like a week and will start getting pushed out instantly. Like that's not the correct jewelry for it. You're just putting pressure on the area. And it's like quite, sh like it's really small as well. There's no room for the stretching. The bar's really tiny. Like there's no, there's no room for that to swell or stretch or any at all. Like it's just gonna get eaten in it. How do these places exist? How do they exist? Stop it, no say. I don't like the look of it. What are you doing? Pissing your collarbone with a surface bar that's going to you reject, you'll go to hell and die in fire. Do you know sometimes there are certain tunes that are just perfect for parody songs and it's the Teletubbies and the Oompa Loompa song. <laughs> oh, give me gaps. She got, got gaps. <laughs> okay, so, oh gosh. Oh, look at the, the I mean the, oh, the neck, <gasps> the neck, neck. Oh, wow. That's so angry, That's so angry. Someone's gone and they get scars. I mean, I like the ears. <sighs> I wish we could get like a good shot of the ears. I wish, turn your head a bit more. Turn it, girls. Okay, there. I mean, the ears look kind of cool. It's kind of difficult to tell how like healthy. This does look quite red. Although the fact they've got lots of white makeup on and they've put some white on the ear here, it makes it look redder, I guess. Uh, so like nice to see it in real life, but yeah, it doesn't look amazingly healthy. I guess this kind of looks a bit weird. If this was done nicely, it'd look amazing. But the neck piercings, Jesus Christ. 
That looks, look how bad. Like it's fully like, I oh, help me. Again, example of, cur they've put curved barbells on the surface piercing. And this is what happens when you leave curved barbells in surface piercings like this, especially on the neck, because it's in a completely different shape. It needs to be like the staple bars, the surface bars that are like, you know, half, re half rectangles. It needs to have that shape. It puts pressure on an area that really does not want pressure put on it. Like I understand, I understand if this was filmed in like 2005, six, seven time. Like I get it because like piercing knowledge was like, like things like surface bars, I, <sighs> Was that new back then? I'm not sure. Because even when I was having my piercings done years ago, my surface, I mean, I've not had a surface piercing in ages, but when I had surface ones, it wasn't even like completely half rectangle ones. It was ones that looked like this. This is the kind of bars I had in. But these, you know, you, you don't want to use these ones now either. You want to use ones that look like this. This was uploaded on the 15th of December last year. Like it's only not even a month old. So the fact that they would still be putting these kind of bars in people's surface piercings in 2023 was it's just insane. It's bonkers. Like you, we, we know that's not right. We know it's not right now. So I don't understand why it's still being done. I don't know. It's odd. What a weird, weird. Okay, so this person's doing it. Oh, oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh my God! No. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Hang on, just listen. Just listen. 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 Did you hear the pop? You heard the pop. That oh, 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 oh. oh my god. What the <laughs> Pop goes the slat. Slat. Just shoving a blunt object through the nose. I don't know if maybe it was pierced already oh and they were what? like trying to reopen a hole. It doesn't actually say. It just says it just says <laughs> FYP. God. You can't see because the video already starts with it kind of in the nose already. I don't know if it was maybe them reopening a hole, but oh, Jesus Christ. Ouchie, ouchie goes. Anyone with piercings has all been there when they're trying to put a bar back in like a piercing that has kind of closed up a bit. I get it. But as I said before, please make sure that you know that there's a limit where you're not leaving it out for too long and then literally just like fully forcing a blunt object back through your nose and ripping open scar tissue because you're gonna have so many problems. I just pierce the belly button at it's 1 a.m. Manically. So they're gonna pierce their belly button at 1 a.m. Is this the new like 3 a.m. challenge? Things. Calling my ghost at 3 a.m. Piercing my belly button at 1 a.m. is that the new thing? You pierce light. yourself at 1 a.m. and then you call your dead body at 3 a.m. Oh, this is awful. I wish I was dead. 3 a.m. 4, 5. Spot. It's gonna go right below the dot. Sorry, I don't know what just happened there. I was having an episode. Like, what's so. This, so, oh, for God's gone. sake. I'm not pushing it on again. I pierced this whole thing. Da, 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 so da, da, da. Look at that. Missing my best. It's too late now. Back down. This is a bad. serious Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it's just really. Oh, oh! That's Look really that shallow. Is God, that is in shallow. I pushed it out before having the jewelry ready. Over Oh, because if you didn't, it would have made any difference. No, it wouldn't have made any difference. Let's pierce the belly button. And then she died. She's dead. Can we stop this now, please? Come on, let's stop it. Let's reevaluate what's going on in the world and go, do you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be doing this to myself. At 1 a.m. <laughs> Calling my ghost at 1 a.m. Gone wrong, emotional, not clickbait. She's rotten, girls. It smells as if something's been dead too long. Okay, so what? We are one step closer to fairy wings. Oh, one step closer to fairy wings means one step closer to God. That was terrible. S Club Juniors are shook. Only a tiny portion of people have any idea. Was S Club Juniors around? In like, like when S Club Juniors came out, right? Were they just a UK thing or do Americans know what that is? One step closer to heaven, baby, means one step closer to you. I'll just die already. Okay, so some- oh, music, music, no, copyright strike! So sometimes I remember that I just have this piece of metal permanently stuck in my lip. Like my lip grew over both my snake bites and I yanked the other one out but could never get this one. It's still embedded, it's been three- THREE YEARS! <gasps> oh my god. I mean, not gonna get tooth damage, I guess. <laughs> Hang on, wait, 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 we need to stop. So this person has- look. Stop, can I, oh wait, I need to pause it on that moment. TikTok's really difficult to like skim through videos. So you can see the discoloration here. So this, they had, they've had snake bites, right? They both got sunk, the insides got eaten by her lip. Hungry, hungry lippos. In, the lips ate the bar and now they were just kind of stuck inside. But this one here has been in for three years.
Why would you do that? Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know where this person's from. Like, if it was America, obviously, I guess that healthcare is expensive and you've got to get it cut out. Like, if you're in the UK, you probably would be able to have it on the NHS. But, like, three years? Jesus Christ. Again, like, when I'm not going to talk too much about financial stuff, about people not being able to afford it. I guess, like, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. If you don't have the money in America and in healthcare and all that stuff, it, I understand. Uh, but, God... How, how many, doesn't take away from the, doesn't take away from the fact that it's still shocking that you've had that in for three years. Three years! But she like said that she yanked the other one out. Oh God! Painful. Kind of makes me feel a bit sick. Girlhood. Ugh! Oh God. Oh no, both sides are angry. I don't know if you've got like, God. Jesus Christ. Oh no, ow. <gasps> oh no, it's just getting worse. Oh God. Can I say though, like, this is what, like, whenever you do get piercings, stick to one side of your face or one side of your ear. Don't do this and get, like, both sides, like, pierced because not only is it going to make it di more difficult to, like, heal, obviously. The more, the more piercings you get in one session, the, the harder it is for piercings going to heal. That's just the way your body works. To get, like, this side and this side pierced, it's like, no matter what you do, each way you lie or do things, like, it's gonna make it more difficult. S like, just stay to one side. Don't get an eyeball piercing here and get this one at the same time. These look like they've been done at the same time. Like, don't have two at the same time because you're just making it very difficult for your s to even kind of live. Because if you sleep this side, you might put pressure on it and go, well, I need to sleep this side, put pressure on that side. Like, it I had more problems because I had my eyeball pierced. I've had it done twice now. Both times the body just pushed it out. Funnily enough, I have never really had problems sleeping with my ear piercing. Even when they're healing, I just sleep on the other side. I've never really had problems. And even when my piercings have healed, I still never really have problems with my ears. The one piercing I had that always caused me issues was sleeping with my eyebrow piercing. And it was one side and it just never... Ne I, I don't know what it was about it, but my body hated it. But even when it sort of like healed and settled down, sleeping was still an issue. It just never, never, never was an easy one to sleep with. Slag. So the fact of having both sides done, oh no. There's nothing more annoying than when your favorite piercing is the one that you have to take out. She didn't wash her ears. She didn't even wash, she didn't See wash that? her ears. How long have you had these? Since I was two. Oh God. They are heavy. Yeah. My goodness. Since you were two, do you have your ears pierced them when you were a kid? Yeah. This hopefully would be my first Christmas without them. Oh, bless her. Oh, so her parents really nice. had pierced her ears when she was like a, a, a young and child and then she formed away. keloids because of them. Well, let me see if I can give that gift to you. I hope I can. I hope I can make Again, it's one of those things that you risk when you pierce Jayla. the baby's ears. The like, because you don't really know, like, you, you don't know what you're doing. Very precise. I just don't want them to come back like the ghost of Christmas past. That's the thing with keloids. If you're someone who is prone to getting keloids, you know, as you form new scar tissue with like new, you know, if you get your ears surgically like sewn up or whatever, like a new scar tissue forms, they could come back annoyingly. Imagine what life would be like without my keloids because I've had them so long. I just know I'd be happy. Okay. So this is the right ear. She didn't wash her earrings. Did I miss something there? Where did didn't wash your ears come from? Nothing in that said about cleaning. Am I going mad? Nothing. At, why did you just say that? I don't know where this person's got that information from. False information, girls. Need one of those community notes. She had them when she she had them when she was two years old. Like you're saying she didn't clean her piercings or whatever, or she didn't wash her earrings or something. It's like, well, she was a, a, a an infant. That was the parent's responsibility to do all that and show her as an infant what to do. Like the what? Weird. I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about, moron. This is the thing. When you when you pierce your baby's ears like that, you risk run the risk of things like this because how are you gonna know if she's gonna form keloids at that age? Like you don't. Like there's so many risks of piercing young children. Okay. Oh god. I don't know what this person's saying. Oh god. Look at all the dead skin cells. Oh see now this isn't cleaning the piercing. That person's that she's never washed her earrings. This is what an unwashed piercing looks like. Not what not a keloid. Keloids aren't unwashed. God. But this ear, look, this ear shape is not the right, again, this this is not the right ear shape for an industrial piercing. But this is what it looks like when you don't wash a piercing. It's dead skin cells and buildup of like, dirt. Not, not, not what we just watched with keloids. That was, I don't know what the hell, sorry, that person really annoyed me for saying that, because I don't know why you're saying that. But this ear, like this ear though is not the right shape for a scaffolding piercing. Like this is not enough rim to do it. I know it's really bad when you, when you get told or you see that you don't have the anatomy for a certain piercing but please listen to your piercer or please just like actually do some kind of research into that because it's not good. It's not good. Like don't, unfortunately, sometimes you have to just accept that you can't get a piercing. It's not fair. I can't have scaffolding piercings either. I love them, but 
I can't get it and I have to accept it because I would love one in this year. But I can't have it. I tried it years ago. Years and years ago, back in 2008, I tried it and my ear was like, get out. Nobody cares. But of course, that was a different time. People, people, we know more now. If you just... You have to accept that you can't have it now. I don't judge people, but oh, this oh, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I knew this is gonna happen when I constantly get tagged in this person's videos. I knew this was gonna happen. The thing is, they're playing a song, so I can't actually play the music. Oh God, no. <laughs> sure. Oh dear, welcome to the channel. I don't like it here. And your whole body shuts down every time you get a piercing. Oh God. The sound? Okay. Oh, there is sound, okay. <laughs> okay, here we go, come on. This is what I was saying, by the way, about that sort of like weird sort of like gun cartridge hybrid thing they've used. So it looks a bit like a piercing gun, but it uses one of the cartridges instead. Why did you like put it and then take it back out? What? Oh, it looks like they're doing it like. Oh. Oh, no, oh no, what's happening? Oh no. Oh, did they? Oh no, they, did they pass? Oh, they died! How did you die? I forgot to drink water. But that was what I was saying in my last video where like it has the cartridge, but they sort of put it into like a device that almost looks a bit like a gun. There's some one or two different kind of like uh, versions of it, but this is one of those ones where they plug it in. They plug it in, plug it in, plug it up, plug it up. They put it in, they're all gonna laugh at you. You plug it in and then you like pierce, you pierce like that. Still not very good, like still don't use these. They're less aggressive than those original like piercing guns because those other ones really slam it in. Okay, so this person has a snake healing my, oh God, music, music, music. Healing my snake bite, so, okay, so, I mean, don't keep, don't pull it, don't put your fingers near it, and it's, they've already changed one of them, what? What? That's not, that, that's not gonna, I don't, the swelling doesn't look like it's gone down at all, it looks like it's getting worse, the swelling looks like it's getting worse, not gone down, oh god, <gasps> oh no. Should not have changed that. I can't believe. Oh no! See, look, 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 look. You can see the butt here. Look, you can see. So essentially, like when you put, when you have like a new piercing, obviously you pierce it straight, and then when you put like a curved barb off through it, you're essentially pulling, you're changing the shape of the hole. So the whole, the whole shape is being like twisted around to fit this new jewelry. But you can see this bit now is like a, the, the the extra space that's been created by pulling it down like that, which is making this sort of like scar tissue pus section like form because it's pulled the the hole it's like bent the hole in a different shape so this is like trying to heal the part that it's now like bending am i making sense i didn't understand the word of that i'm sorry <laughs> am i explaining myself it's hard to explain what i'm talking about but you're, you're you've bent the hole now so the hole has like become a slightly skew with shape which has now made this section here where it's being pulled but oh god yeah look it's it's really bad it's oh god <gasps> I don't care what you say and I don't care how you feel. Do not in any way, shape or form get lip piercings or any piercings for that matter and change them into horseshoe bars on day three. That is the dumbest thing you could ever do. Like that's, that's, that's fully like, are you okay sis? Like that's so stupid. On day three, she changed it to a horseshoe bar. And the horseshoe bar was way too small to begin with this. Uh, oh God. I don't understand why people are doing this. I can't, no, stop it, no, no, no. How okay. can this still be okay? How can places that offer piercing with God. a piercing device or a gun still thinks it's okay? Like, have you done no Thank research? You. Like, have you ever opened an article? Do you see that mountain on her ear? And I've spoken with a lot of people who offer piercing services with piercing guns here in Sweden. And like the fact is ear. that they are so proud of it. Like they won't listen. They won't listen to what it's doing to their client's body. And of course it's about quick cash. Because nine out of 10 times, the client is just looking for a piercing and doesn't know the damages they're putting their body through. Absolutely, because absolutely. if they knew, they probably wouldn't put their body through that. God. Look Look at that mountain behind her ear. The that mountain! from the trauma, from the damage Like even my breast is small and humble, so and don't confuse them with this ear. No, 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 no. Shut up! 
first of all, it was rusty. It wasn't just the diamonds. Yeah, so the clearly it was like a bad quality jewelry rusting. as well. It was rusting it was as well. Very, very short. That's not even six millimeters. And that ball was pressing behind her ear so badly that if she waited one more day, I probably would find that ball. Engulfed. In her Absolutely ear. engulfed into the ear. I am so so tired of these jewelry stores this is what i mean when i when i make videos like this like this is the result that can happen by using piercing guns on ear cartilage it just it really can really f up your ear because it, it fully like shatters your cartilage I, I completely agree with what they said it's very strange that this is still happening this like that's such old technology now it's so weird that it's still like it's still going on it doesn't make any sense like i, I will never understand that how how is it still going on I, I, weird. Weird. Okay, so what is this? So trigger warning, blood. My biggest flex is that mine healed in a month. Your Billy, what? What was happening? Is the sound? You post for for Billy person. You can't actually, that won't actually work. I can barely hear you what they're saying. Bleeding? Anyway, see, look, everyone's saying that it's healed. The top is okay. Oh God, that's bottom, not, oh, well, it's not really okay, sis. Bleeding, Cause I think someone's popped inside. It's a bit gross. So if you don't like that, then don't look. Like, so anyways, I don't really know what to do, so... Anyways, all the people saying don't play with it, I only did it for the video. Yeah, don't, so don't, right, 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 wait, stop, stop, sorry. I could barely hear what she was saying then, but I think I kind of got the gist of it. Essentially, this person is replying to this comment that has my flexes healed in a month. This person saying that the belly button piercing healed in a month. Debatable. That's a lie and you know it. But, so this person's like, no, mine isn't healed in a month or whatever and showing their belly button piercing. Now, the belly button isn't actually fine. Like, th th when it comes to healing process, like, being, I mean, pulling it like that isn't going to help it. This could be rejection. This could be it rejecting. Um, this kind of looks like a bit of like a scar, like it, like it was pierced up here and it's moving forward. Pulling it like this isn't gonna work. But, you know, I can't say for certain. But if your piercing like is like this though, doing this is not going to help it. Like just just keep it clean. Like when it comes to it looking red or disgusting, it actually doesn't look gross. It's not like an obscene amount of dirt all over it. Like it's oozing a bit here. So doing this isn't going to help it. Just keep it clean, saline or salt water. Leave it alone morning, evening. Keep it clean and leave it alone and it should be fine. But just keep a look on this top side because this could potentially be rejection. Or it could just be the skin being a bit irritated. I can't find this face. Where is it again? Where's where's the top bit? As I said, though, just keep an eye on this bit though, because it this could potentially as it's being migrated. But just just keep an eye on it. Just keep an eye on it. What are you gulping at? Okay, so I, I got Shein. what? The ones from Shein won't work. What? Like they made a copy of my product and it doesn't even work properly. What's I'm happening? Sure. What is this? Obviously, I had to order it. What what's going on? I'm really confused. What's happening? What? I was pretty bummed when I found what's out happening? they stole my idea and started selling them themselves. What is that so, she's got on her face? Is that piercing? This is the one from... Oh, no, wait, it's like a I just clip. It, by the way. I don't know if I should Oh, is it supposed to give you dimples? <laughs> and this is mine. Oh, is that meant to be Let a dimple maker? Oh. So, I'll show you guys the difference. I just put, oh, I think, okay, so, uh, what, okay, what I think's happened is she has made the these dimple mine, makers right? and, and something from, from Shein, Shein has, like, Timo ripped her off. Whatever. But... Minus. I mean, have you got it patented? Like, do you, you have a patent really for that? Because if you don't have a patent for it, can you sue or do anything about it? I'm not going to watch the rest of it because nothing really happens. But yeah, like, I, I, I think unless you've got a patent, like, even as you've patented the product, I don't think you can do anything uh, anything else about, like, someone else just taking it. Well, I was confused. I've never seen ones like this before. But I've seen, like, dimple makers before. And you can even do, like, dimple surgery where they'll put, like, a sewing, they sew through and then they pull it in. We, we actually had it in a video, like, a long time ago where they were using, like, um wasn't string but it was like surgical string i'm not sure what, the, what kind of like stitching and they were like pulling it inside and stitched it on the inside i wasn't sure what they were doing but i've never seen them use them like this before but do things like this actually work if you put like pressure there for a long time would it make dimples i actually don't know would you be able to do that well guys we are well and truly aboard that trigger train true true speeding down the railway about to cross off a cliff and plunge to my death bye oh and i'm back just like jesus christ Ooh, squat for jesus oh Jesus loved a good peach. Oh, Jesus loved to get roared on the last supper table. Oh, Jesus loved to get pierced all over his ears and pass out to die. Oh, Jesus passed out for your sins. Oh, Jesus loved to wear makeup from the MAC cosmetic counter and just smear it all over his face. Let me help you. He was a crossy. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on today's and the first of the year's TikTok piercing fails. Clearly, clearly, as we say at the start of each of the year, this year is going to be just as bonkers as the rest because 
stating all of this and starting with all of this, like we've 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 seen a lot. We've seen a lot already, and it's the start of the year. So what? It's, it's the I'm filming this on the 11th of <laughs> the 11th of January, and that was already enough chaos for the year. So looks like we'll still be able to make these videos into 2024 because obviously people are still bonkers. I do have a suspicion that we've become like. Uh, we've gone full circle now that like, the new generation are like actually getting old enough to experiment and do things like this that they kind of don't know what like five, six years ago when I started making these videos, like so many of those people would have been like, oh, we've, we've learned a lot, but they've all grown up now. So now that's a new generation coming into TikTok and social media being like, oh, let's do this. <laughs> I'm stuck in limbo. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, as I said before, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the continued love and support. You guys are absolutely incredible, and I... You know, thank you so much for continuing to watch these videos after as many years I've been doing them. I'm so glad that you're still enjoying them. And I know like, I have been doing YouTube now. This will be my 16th year doing YouTube and I'm still totally in love with it. And I feel very lucky that I still love it as much as I do as well. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for letting me live out my dream and I love you so much. Today's Twitch shout out goes to That Awkward Soul. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. Come follow me on Twitch and maybe you can be in the next Twitch shout out. I'm streaming uh, twice a week there now. So come follow me on Twitch. Come join the fun over there. And thank you to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a Patreon. You guys are mwah, delicious. And an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Alex Edward, Prince of Horror, Cameron Pittman, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, Aya, Robin Scott Palmer, Bethard, Steph Utek, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are also mwah, delicious. Anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch out there say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless.